Hello, it's Suzanne from Let's Go Peak District and today I'm in the village of Enza, that's how it's pronounced, in the Peak District National Park in England. Now Enza is a picture postcard little village. It's got the most beautiful stone houses, little lanes, a graceful church, a village green. And as if that's not enough, it's set in the grounds of the Chatsworth House estate. It doesn't get better than that. But like so many of these little Peak District towns and villages, scratch beneath the surface and all is not quite as it appears. Because Enzo was originally located here, down by the banks of the River Derwent. And you can see how close it was to Chatsworth House just behind me. And therein lay the problem for Enzo. It was an old village. It was mentioned in the Doomsday Book of 1086. And by all accounts, it was a rather ramshackle, run-down little place. There are descriptions of old cottages, farms, workshops, a village pub and a school. And one day in the 1750s, the fourth Duke of Devonshire, a man called William Cavendish, looked out of his window at Chatsworth House and decided that he didn't really like the look of the little old cottages straggled along the river. They rather spoilt the view of his parkland. So he decided, as you can if you're the Duke of Devonshire, to have them moved. In total, more than 500 residents were moved from the old village of Enza. They were relocated temporarily in the nearby villages of Beeley and Pilsley. Only about 60% of them ever returned. The new village of Enzo was commissioned by the 6th Duke of Devonshire, also called William Cavendish. He had it built about half a mile away from its original location, but over the brow of the hill from Chatsworth so that it could no longer be seen from the house. It was designed by a local architect from Derby, John Robertson, but under the guidance of Sir Joseph Paxton, who was famous for designing the Crystal Palace in London. He was the Sixth Duke's head gardener. you can't fail to notice when you look around Enza is how different all the architectural styles are. And the story goes that the architect, John Robertson, presented the 6th Duke of Devonshire with a book of architectural plans for him to choose from for the design of his new village. But the Duke was a busy man, he didn't have time to look through brochures, so he just distractedly said, oh give me one of each. houses in Enza were built from new. Some of the original houses were kept, including this old farmhouse which now houses the post office and tea rooms. The original church from the old village of Enza, St Peter's, dated from the 12th century. It was originally retained and moved to the new village but only 30 years after the new village was completed, it was demolished and replaced with this much larger building. The graveyard contains some interesting graves, including those of the 6th Duke of Devonshire, who founded the village of Enza, and Sir Joseph Paxton. It also contains the grave of Kathleen Kennedy, the sister of John F. Kennedy, former President of the United States. She was the widow of the oldest son of the 10th Duke of Devonshire. Today, almost the entire population of Enza is made up of past and present members of staff from Chatsworth House. It's only a small place, but it's a very pretty little village and a fascinating one to explore. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow Let's Go Peak District on Facebook and Instagram. We love sharing our tales of the Peak District with you.